Doctors remove the toy policeman from the baby's nose. The next day another fireman was taken out. The third day the bear came to the hospital crying again. This time a fire truck was taken out again. Dr. House was confused. Why is this child so obsessed with stuffing things up his nose? And just one nostril. House looked at the three toys in front of him. Police said, fireman, fire truck. Suddenly he seemed to understand something. He took out the electromagnetic suction device to test the magnetic properties. Then he pointed it at the boy's nostril. Sure enough, a kitten was sucked out. So in order to save the cat, the boy sent the police, firemen and fire engines. House could not help but exclaim that this boy is smart aw, cultivate it well. The future can become a great atmosphere. And the next woman was even stranger. She was bleeding from the bottom. And House gave her an ultrasound and said she was having a miscarriage. The woman was amazed. She had been single for two years since her husband divorced her. She had been dating. How could she be pregnant? How could she have gotten pregnant? And how could she have had a miscarriage? Hazard thinks the woman is lying. Then there was no point in continuing the conversation. So he dismissed the woman and left. The next day the woman came back. This time the symptom was a wound on the side of her neck. House looked at it and it was obviously a hickey. The woman was furious. No way, I'm not seeing anyone. And I've always been clean. Hauser saw how sure the woman was. So he pulled off two of her hairs and decided to get tested for alcohol and marijuana hallucinogens to see if she was experiencing love in a sober state. But nothing came back. On the third day, the woman had new symptoms. She said she had a rash on her body. This time House was very patient and studied her for a long time. The conclusion was that it was not a rash at all. It was the mark of the carpet rubbing. Now the woman was furious. How many times have I told you, I'm single, I'm not dating anyone, has thought to himself, is this woman a multiple personality? He asked the woman if you usually sleep well. The woman said she sleeps very well. She sleeps through the night. It's just that every morning, I wake up very tired. So what's on your mind? No, it's just that my ex-husband lives downstairs. He keeps calling me asking to get remarried. Hauser seemed to have an answer in mind. He asked the woman to stay overnight in the hospital sleep lab. The results were just as House had expected. The woman's brain waves suddenly jumped it to 45 AM. This means she's partially awakened from sleep, also known as sleepwalking. So for a long time, she was sleepwalking to her ex-husband. No wonder her ex-husband calls her every day to ask for a remarriage. Other people are telling the truth after drinking. She is sleepwalking to see her true love. 